So if you can see me and I can't see the stream, just please be patient. Uh, I've never streamed a browser-based game. We'll see if this works correctly. <laughs> Dun-dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun. Kaisi 2, you hung out with me. Ooh. Well, I'm not seeing it, but if you can see it, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> okay. All right, well... Since you can hear me, and you're the only one watching, we can get to it. So, for some reason, my web page is not showing it, but that's okay. As long as you can see it, that's fine. Hello, hello, hello. I am Chief. I am here to show you Eldevin. Eldevin is a nice browser-based game that is made by Hunted Cow. Um, I have, it uh, currently is in closed beta, but I have got an invite so I can show you the wonders of Eldevin. And so here I am at the character select screen. Um, it does require Java, just to let you know. That'll be the first thing that pops up and jumps into your face and says, do you want to run this? Yes, I do, if I want to play it. And so here we are at character select, or character creation. And so you name your character before you actually get to this point, and then you come in, um, it currently it looks like you only get the one character, but we haven't gotten far enough to see or not. Um, obviously you have your male and female choices. Um, and then we'll just go through some looks here. We got pale one. We can't zoom in, but uh, pale two is our face. We're just adjusting our face up there. Then we go tanned. Same looks, just different color, it looks like. Then we got exotic, dark, and back to pale. And then we'll do the same thing for the female. Got different, same looks. Run through those really quick. And we'll go back to male. And let's see here, let's just take, let's just, all right, tan to, then we got skinny, Muscular or hairy. Those are our three choices for the dudes. Females, we have skinny, 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 skinny. I guess we can have no fat chicks here. Sorry, fat chicks. If you really want to be one, you can't be one. You're just skinny. All right. Let's see here. Well, muscular. All right. Hairstyles. We got shorts, different shorts, spiky, medium. Medium two, medium three, hair long, we can be a hippie, afro, receding, bald guys, nice, mohawks, bald, completely bald, all right, what about the female's hair? We got long, two, three, four, pigtails, medium, not a lot of choices, okay, and then you got different colors for the hair, and we can have facial hair if we wanted to. All right. Well, just for the sake of timeliness, now we've ran through all the different choices you have here. Let's just hit the random button and go with it. Beautiful. All right. As you can see at the bottom are different control keys. They're prominently on display. I did try and zoom in my camera to where you could see more, but right now you can't control the video size. It's in your browser and it is what it is. I've made it as big as I can for you. Um, so there you go. We are entering the void, or escape the void, okay. So you're seeing this, right? Interact with the NPCs. Quest explanation above their heads. Triple goal. 
can right click or double click to talk to an NPC. Okay. So let's. Okay, click to move. Talk to. Found what? On our way out of this place, I don't have much time. Follow me! But. Okay, I guess we're going. Oh, I can use the arrow keys, okay, to turn the look up and down. So arrow keys change the look, but not actually move you. Interesting, okay. Left click somewhere on the ground, green indicators where you're going to move to. All right, we got it. In this way, keep up the pace. Must be quick if we're going to escape. Right behind you. Okay. Okay. Easy way to get lost in a strange realm. You can access the map by pressing the M. Okay, let's press M and see what we look like. M. Ooh, our big map. Looks like we gotta get here. Escape the void. NPC is me. All right. So far, so good. So let's turn. Oop, wrong way. So we can see him. Equipping the weapon, Sarkran. I saw one of those between here and the rip. You don't have to tell me twice. So we're gonna go inventory. Interesting. Oh, right click to equip. Okay. Got it. So what do we got here? We got a strange mace. Okay. So let's just run through things here. We had I for inventory. M for map. Q for quests. We click on it. The void. Escaping the void. Oh, it's got a little tracker to tell you how many, how far along you are, and your reward. Okay, abilities. Oh, so we got melee attack, which is equipped. Ranged attack, which is equipped. Blood bath requires level two. Okay, so I see we've got everything we can get. Vindictive target single player requires a shield. I don't have a shield. Lacerate requires dual wielding. All right, I guess we have all we can get. From what I understand, oh, we got ranged abilities, magical abilities, so how do we... Guess we haven't got to that part of the tutorial yet. <laughs> so. This looks like our potion bar. We got multiple hot bars here. Ah, okay, so we haven't learned them yet. They're there, but we don't know them yet. How do we know if we know them? I don't know. Interesting. Okay. E to target enemy. H to target the next enemy. Well, that's kind of an awkward uh, key binding. X to gather. R for reputations. Money. And statistics. Cool. T for talents. Oh, so from what I understand, um, the little bit I've read about the game, you start out as a basic character and you can put talents in anything. So I can be, so you got the Templar, the Warrior, the Assassin, the Ranger, the Mage, and the Prophet. And the way you 
where you put points as you earn them determines how you can be. So I can be a fireball throwing warrior if I want to, or I can be a make a paladin by combining the prophet and the templar together because you know big shields and casting spells. That's what I understand of the game. Uh, statistics. Okay. Let's just keep going. Oops. Okay, you have a weapon clip. Follow me. Yes, sir. So far, this is a little weird, actually. Oop. Oh, we get to fight some stuff. Savage voidings. Okay, those creatures, what do we want me to do? We'll have to fight our way three. I hope you remember how to use your mice. Well, we didn't read that, so let's read it real quick. In the lower middle of your screen, your health and energy. Your energy takes actions, reaches zero, character dies. If the number one slot the toolbar, you will have a default attack, the mace. Or you can hit one. Okay, let's do this. Just click on it, and then it hits. It takes time. Interesting. I'm not moving here. Oh, there's a... The invisible wall going on up here. Interesting. Thank you. I thought I was a goner. Great job of killing those things. Hmm. Forgot your name. What is it again? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, gathering X. I guess I don't have click a skill. Okay, your health and arrow automatic regen slowly over time to reduce the rate while in combat. Food can be broadcast to generate. Okay. Gotcha. So we have enough inventory. Put that on a bar. Excellent. I'm ready. Let's go. I must say. Okie dokie. Yay, we leveled up and all we did was walk. Interesting. You gained your first level of time you land, we added to your primary attributes shown in your character panel. There we go. Six attribute points per level for you to choose where you want to spend them. Okie dokie. So.
So, we have spent points we can spend. We have arrived! Where we have arrived, I don't know. Am I okay? Is that a trick question? Welcome to Elven. Don't be alarmed. I'm sure we'll have many questions. Belong to the Order of Life. Known as the Void. What is it? We don't know much about the Void. Count yourself lucky. You are still a soldier trapped there. Fortunately, you found your way through one of our rips, which brought you back here. Ten years ago, there was an incident in our king experimented with spheres of ultimate power. Well, horribly wrong, ripping apart fabric of existence. The void. Mages were part in your rip and rescued the king that closed behind you as soon. Tell me what you remember anything. I don't remember anything. Ah, let's see here. Memory loss. Spend time here. Okay, where should I start? Take these books. Learn quest books. Okay, you've gained quest books. You said basic magic is your active quest, as indicated on your purple marker. However, if you feel free to pursue other quests at the same time, you can change your active quest, browse your quest books via the quest panel, press Q. So, we can go here. So, we got a history lesson, basic archery, basic melee, basic magic. Visit a mage horse in the near arcane tower to learn about the basics of magic. Okie dokie. Sir, yes sir. Right away, sir. So let's look at our map here. Wow! That's actually a pretty big map. We're here. I guess we're supposed to go there. Okie dokie. We're off and running! Definitely wish I could make this bigger. Let's see here. Settings. Video. Okay. That doesn't change size. Okie doke. Alright. We're off and running. Ooh. Quad rabbits in the city. Alright. Can we walk across water? Nope. We have to go around the bridge. Oh, maybe we go this way. Oh, we got a whole bunch of skills. Fishing, foraging. What have we got on the signpost? Accepting this will teach you the following quests to start your adventure uh, in gathering. These are crystals, cutting, farming, fishing. Learn the quest. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, I see. Shoals. Mage Horus. So what do you think, Kaisy2? Interesting? Kind of old schoolish. You've returned from the void. I can see it in your eyes, but I can't remember anything. It was a very hostile place. Most people who return never remember the former lives. So we've been experimenting with the void. What's the tower used for? Tower belongs to our king council and we large him to the magician. We practice a wide range of spells and magic. Spells. Yes, don't you remember? Do you? That's incredible. Can you teach me? Go inside the tower and talk to Mage, and he will be able to determine whether you have the ability to learn magic. People have some natural talent, perhaps you'll be lucky. I will. Let's go in. Ooh, there's another person here. Opening door. Come on. There we go. Look at that. Why do I always want to rotate the screen the wrong way? Okay. Mage Gillis. Hey, you're not our king council. What's your business here? Yeah, this is coming out soon. This is a brand new game. It's in closed beta. Um, my initial impression, this would be something I would expect to play on a tablet. Not in a web browser. But maybe that's the intent. That you can play it on a tablet or in your phone. 
um, because it's web-based. Uh, not really sure. Like I said, I didn't read up on it. I just got the invite and was asked to stream it. And so here we are, taking a look together. Okay. Another void rescue. You wish the worm the ways of magic. Very well. Magic is delicate and dangerous. It takes a great deal of practice and persistence. Forgive me if I have my doubts about you. With this kind of power, I could rule the land. I would only use this for peace and prosperity. Let's see what he says. I can set your eyes to you. I'll begin your training in order to cast a spell. You must first learn it. How do I learn a spell? Spells can be learned from scrolls through talons. Once you have learned the spell, you can then be used to cast spells requiring mana. Mana is a spiritual measure of your psyche. It can easily regenerate by resting and eating certain foods. Um, I didn't try to find this past weekend, but I've tried it in the past. Um, my daughter had a competition this weekend, um, and uh, which she won, by the way. Um, so we had family in the house, and uh, they decided to spend the night, which impacted my Sunday. And so, yeah, family time overshadowed everything. Uh, let's see here. We will start with a spell utilizing the element of ice. You will find that all magical abilities are based on the six elements, like dark, fire, ice, nature, and blood. This scroll will teach you a simple but vital spell called revitalization. It can work on yourself or an ally. Say, so we're gonna. Ooh, what do we got here? Natural essence. Let's equip it. Learn. Yeah, I like Defiance. I'm more interested in the TV show, actually. Uh, me personally, because it's mostly a first-person shooter game, and it's not my genre of game. I did enjoy playing it when I did play it. The crafting system looked very intriguing and interesting. Um, so there is that. Uh, I'll give it another shot at some point. Okay, so we now we got to go to abilities. B. Now we can go to magic. Talents. Wave. Oh, we got emotes and stuff. Sneak. Sit. Oh, look at that. We got two two hot bars. You got to equip your emotes. Uh, I don't know those yet. Interesting. No talents. Spells. Repent. Cauterize, ranged, vitalize. There we go. Let's see here. Requires a shield. Oh, that's vindictive. That's not vitalize. What did I learn? Revitalize. I don't see it. Oh, wrong page. There it is. Okay. So now we can hook that up right there. Nice. Okay, so we figured that out. Now what does he say? Did you manage to learn the spell? Yes, I'm ready to continue. Now that you've learned the spell, you can cast as many times as you want as long as you have enough mana. To test your magical ability, I'm going to injure you lightly, of course. Then you'll need to cast Revitalize on yourself. Ow! Ha <laughs> ha! I figured that out.
All right. All right, so now we got a healing spell. So we've learned a spell. Got anything else to teach us? Oh, upstairs. We are going upstairs, people. Upsie daisy. Cool. Yeah, there's just so many awesome games this year. It's just crazy. Which one to focus on, you know? Well, maybe I did go upstairs with this little bike. All right. Well, don't I feel silly? I've been going up and downstairs and didn't even know it. All right. Well, that wasn't very visually cueing. Unleashing the power of lightning. Take your place at my side. Marvelous, I'm sure you'll agree. Are you here to learn magic? Yes, please. Ha, wonderful. What is your name? I am Sarkan. I get to learn a new spell. Yes. Learn. I get to learn incinerate. Yeah. Incinerate. Target a player. Throw the fireball. Oops. Right there. Yes, I have. Good. Now I shall have to test it without burning up the crisp, I know. Yes and no. We've managed to create a stable portal to areas here in the void. We call them halfway points. Alright. As long as it's safe. Are you ready? Once you travel through the portal, look at Mage Leth and she will set a challenge for you. Alright. Now open, go quickly. Past it. Talk to. Oh. He's 
targeted. I'm not casting fireball here. say we're not doing very well here. Not let me cast it. Let's go back up. Class incinerate. bow and I can weep, but I can't throw the fireball. Well, Oh, maybe I'm supposed to... Maybe he's a good guy. Hold on. Maybe I have to go outside. Maybe he's a good imp. Maybe I'm trying to kill him, and he might be a good guy. There we go. I was trying to make this difficult. Fantastic, you toasted those little things. You deserve a reward. Please take this. I know it isn't much. Okay, what do we want to do next? Let's set our. Alright, what did we get here? Equip that. Resurrect target player. Interesting. Can I equip that? Okay. 
Mana potions. Interesting. We still haven't assessed our stats here yet, but. Alright. Let's use the door. My biggest problem with the game is the view and look thing thus far. Probably going to be highly enjoyable once you kind of get the rhythm of it, but right now it's still kind of, I don't know, clunky. Alright, let's see what else we can, other troubles we can cause here. Downstairs, going out the door. Guess we're going to the army barracks. That or we just walk around for a minute. Oh, who did we find here? The fishing cluster. A few sickly backs today once I caught a trout. I'd be glad to show you how. Need a fishing rod, obviously, bait is very useful. Look in the hut behind me, you'll find Tobias. He'll sort you out. Okay. Cool. Why not just stumble along and find stuff? like to buy some fishing supplies. Ah, he's trying to teach people to fish. I think he gets lonely out there. Spare a fish rod and a bait. Take the items. Yay! Alright. Let's go outside. We'll get started. You see the school of fish there? It's a perfect spot for trying fish. There's mainly sicklebacks in this lake. Why don't you see if you can catch three? If you run out of bait, go talk to Tobias. All right. Well, I'm going to assume one. I have to equip it. And I'm probably going to need my abilities here. Talents, abilities, okay, nope, but gathering, fishing, Just double click on it. 
Okay. Nice. So you just throw your line. Am I using bait? No. I guess we finished the quest. <laughs> I'm just fishing up a storm. All right. So it was says to say. Gotta give him three circlebacks. All right. Let down. Three. Split. Take. Oops. Split. That was kind of weird, but okay. All right. Ugly weapon. Let's see what other trouble we can find around town. Like there's something over there, but I can't get to it. Okay. Oh, somebody's over here. There we go. Order of the life. How can I help you? What is this place? This is the resurrection point. If you're defeated in battle, you brought revive here. Each point is protected by life. Okay, can I activate this one? Stand still. Thank you. Choose. We got food, health and mana. 350 health over 15 seconds. Or 350 mana over 15 seconds. Now we got some food. Some fishing bait. Claw can't equip yet. Alright. We're just off and cruising here. That's the fishing hut, right? Hmm. We found the door. Anybody home? A farmhouse. Ah, is this for cooking? 
Nice. Can make bread. Oh, sickle back. Oh, but you need some basil and some salt. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. I've done about 15 or 20 art codes, but I haven't got 120 of them. I guess I should go find the list. Where the heck am I? Far too clean. I bet you've never done a hard day's. All right, we're farming plots. Okay. That's a good start. Now we need to plant some seeds. If you have some jute seeds spare, jute is very useful. Planted some seeds. Oh, what's he say? Now your seeds have been planted, you'll need to water them. Different plants need different amounts of water. Keep a close eye on That makes sense. Crops will get disease. I'm pruning. I understand. I hope you do need a watering can. You have to wait until your crops are fully grown before I plant a side. Remember to keep them watered and disease free. Interesting, I guess I've harvested. Oh, well, I guess not. Okay, so I need to go to the textile mill. Oh, there we go. I guess you can zoom in. Marky Depths, Arcane Tower, Fishing Hut.
That's a tanning rack. That was for cooking. Textile mail, there we go. All right, coarse cloth. Cool, we're crafting. Nice. Okay. I guess I completed that one. Well done! If you enjoy doing them, I suggest you look for a tailor. They show... Cool. Alright. Farmer's bag. Alright, there we go. Open. Now we got... Water and pot. Seeds. And some cloth in the farmer's bag. Cool beans. Look at that. Since I don't have the skill to harvest it, killing a rabbit didn't do me any good. All right. Oh, there we go. There's the guy. Melee training. Think you're good enough to join the Elven Army? Apparently I used to be. Used to be. I don't remember. Take yourself in the woods just north of here. Kill five black beetles. Return to be. Got it. Equip. I got two weapons equipped, but I don't know the skill, I guess. Okay, go to the north and kill us some bears. All right, we can do that. Maybe. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, beetles. Ooh, I found a miner's axe. Nice. Return to the captain. Fun of that. Two-handed, so if I want to go two-handed melee instead of one-handed, let's try it. Let's see what that does for me. to focus, one vitality, one vitality, actually get more stats by having two equipped. Alrighty, let's go turn this in. is locked. So where did our captain do that? Oh, I passed him. Ah, that was easy. Take the shield. Now you want to kill five wild pigs roaming the woods to the north. They want us to 
Use a shield. Probably should allocate some points, huh? Seven point six, six point eight. Let's see here. What do you want? Let's see here. Maximum health and health regen. Increase your mana. Melee. Sorcery. Your haste and dodge. Accuracy. I got 12 points. Let's put three here, three here, two there, two there, two there. Why not? Looks good to me. Ah, so let me go over there this time. We can do that. I have a creature uh, shield equipped now. Guess I still haven't learned it. Okay. Just thought maybe since I got the shield I could use it, but mm. since I learned farming I can do harvesting. Cool. Resources depleted, and there's my pig. Turn to the captain. Quick and easy. Ooh, more weeds. I guess you're free to do just about everything in this game once you've learned the skill, which is kind of cool.
Oh, there's the spell. Now I got the spell to use Vindicate. Hmm, I wonder how you bind those keys. Like we found the Skinner. What do you mean? Show you how to make your own living. First thing you do is gather some hide. Take the skinning knife. Back to killing pigs. I'd say the ambient music and sounds are pretty cool. Makes you feel like you're actually in the woods. Chop me a tree. I can just play the game to craft. It's kind of cool.
I'm scanning the pig. Oh yeah, good times. Ooh, another tree. Nice. There might be another pig down this way. Another lime tree. I see. How's my camera flicker been today? I did some setting changes to try and help it out. I really should be eating more tomatoes. Hoping that it's not constantly doing that at the top thing anymore. Have you been noticing my uh, my camera flicker? Um, it was doing that the last couple of streams. I was wondering if it was doing it again. Or if is it, is it fixed? Um, it's tomorrow. FedEx is delivering it tomorrow. I've already put the new stats up on my uh, Twitch page, though, if you want to see what the computer is going to look like. Oh yeah, I'll be taking pictures as I unbox it. The unveiling. Did I finish that? I have 10 hard yet. Oh, I do. All right. This would be Eldevin by Hunted Cow. It's a new browser based game that is currently in closed beta. you call it a beast because it's actually smaller in size than my current computer. It's just much bigger in power.
Um, when you're streaming like this and playing and got web brazers up, it's going to go fast. Actually, I was going to get more RAM until I talked to the tech and the, the motherboard would have been pushed to overclocking if I would put more RAM into it. And I didn't want to overclock the motherboard, so... I saw more. Two tattered hides, so I need two more. Nope. I guess I'm out. Alright. I did not go with the Titan. It turned out um, after further review, the Titan would have been an overkill for what I needed. So I went with the 680 with the back plane um, heatsink. So it'll be better heat management. I was going to go with the Titan, but like I said, it was overkill. Didn't really need it. Not for what I was doing anyway. Um, I could, but I don't think I'm really going to need it for what I'm doing. A 680 will easily run three monitors without a problem. Plus, I have the um, Avermedia streaming card that acts like a, a another video card when needed. So I think I'm well covered. Um, yes, I do have room to put another one later, especially if they seriously drop down in price. Let's see here. What do I need to do? Basic of archery. So with that, it is now 5.30 for me, my time zone. So I think I need to pause here. We'll have to finish up this tutorial. It's not really a tutorial. We're just running around the starter quests. Um, at another time, uh, I just ran out of time to do this. I hear the wife downstairs, which means it's time to eat. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed the look at Eldevin. 
it's quite the interesting game. It seems very sandboxy. Um, it is in a browser-based game. It is closed beta. Um, go ahead and jump over there if you're interested. It looks like, from a crafting standpoint, it's a crafter's delight. Um, we haven't even touched into talents yet, which, like I said, lets you spec out each of your characters the way you want. So I'm not sure how many total points you get yet, but, you know, um, I was thinking about going profit because they're a healer. I kind of like the mage skills, you know, and, you know, a Templar, you know, but it just all depends, I guess, how many points you get in each tree of how diverse you can get. So it looks, it feels very EQE-like in a browser-based game as far as its responsiveness and the abilities you got. It's very old-school, dungeon-like game. Uh, I like that. I like the old-school games. Um, just not a lot of information just yet to kind of let you get started with what you want to do and how you want to do it. But I know from the advertisement, it is play the way you want. So, like I said, you could have points in every single one of these and be just fine. It just depends on later on how things go. Um, interface is pretty intuitive. It's not that hard to follow. Um, like I said, the only thing that really bothers me is this whole top-down look. I can't really get where I'm first person, I'm looking straight ahead. You know, I can get to like this, but I'm never looking at as if I'm looking from me, even though uh, I'm in close. Uh, beyond that, I think it's a, it's a fun little game. Uh, it's a free-to-play game. It's, as far as I know, it's, they're not going to have any charging. There'll be cosmetic item shops, I'm sure. But you'd have to go look at the game more yourself to figure that out. But anyway, I will pick this back up because I do want to at least finish all the starter quests in a take two of this. I'm not sure exactly when I'll do that. It might be another week or two. But we'll finish up all the starter quests to make sure we've visited each one of these. Learn about prospecting. Learn about crystal cutting. Um, learn about actual crafting with all the stuff we got. Finish up this archery quest for our main skills, you know, and we'll find out about talents and stuff like that. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the first look at this, and we'll get back with you later on this. Thanks for coming out. We'll talk to you guys later. This is Chief Sarkin, bidding you adieu.